night, Grandma. Oh, no, I wasn't looking in your private drawer. I promise. Sweet dreams. Hey, guys. So, either I'm having a sleepover with Nana tonight, and she has this thing called her private drawer, which I'm not supposed to go into. But I did, and I found a great book for us to read tonight. It's called Illicit Playtime by Portia Del Costa. Now, I know this is supposed to be an adult book, but it has the word playtime on the title, and it has pictures in it. See? Now, I don't think a picture book is too old for me. Do you think so, guys? I don't know. Oh, she also had fruit roll-up underwear and a leather mask in there. But I guess that's not too weird because Halloween's only eight months away. Anyway, if you would all open your copies of Illicit Playtime and turn to page 205, we can get started. Okay. Once upon a time, You can't tell me for sure who is or isn't the boss. Papa didn't know the name of the his unnamed god, she said, rising and rubbing oil on her stomach and between her legs. It never is the who, is it? It's always the why. How do you hear? How do they tell you to do what to do? Look, you know I can't say, you know I can. She turned. Oil my breasts, will you? She dropped her shyness like a nightgown, and in the liquid glare of sunlight on the boards, she held up her hands, as if in terror of the upcoming skirmish. He took some coconut oil and warmed it between his palms and slid his hands like leathery, velvet animals on her small, responding breasts. He was already fully dressed, but recklessly he pressed himself against her, mildly resisting his form. He worked his intelligent hands, reading the signs of her resistance. What is your object? he breathed, kissing her, loosening his trousers again as if it were the first time. Kill the wizard, she answered looping her legs around his sturdy form. Oh, wow. I feel kind of funny. I have to go.